Ah, young love. It's a complicated thing. Yeah, who am I kidding? Love is complicated no matter your age. But the transitions the mind goes through in late adolescence really adds complexity to the entire thing. Chemical Hearts is an Amazon original, a romantic drama, that takes a look at relationships and the path to healing. A student transfers to a new high school and joins the newspaper club, where she meets a young man who challenges her status quo and makes her reevaluate herself. Lily Reinhardt and Austin Abrams star as Grace and Henry. Grace is the transfer student and is clearly not okay in the emotional stability realm. I mean, she's not psychotic or anything like that. We can just tell that she is dealing with something that is deeply affecting her. She also wears a lot of flannel, so I can totally get behind a character who makes that fashion decision. Henry is semi-lonely and geeky, and he has trouble expressing his emotions verbally. In writing, he can beautifully tell you every aspect of his emotional spectrum, but if he has to say it out loud, he just can't find the words. The two leads are really good together. Their chemistry begins to grow over the course of the story, and as that friendship and relationship grow, we feel it. The emotional roller coaster of adolescence, while it's frustrating and sometimes annoying, does feel genuine in this, and it really does translate well to the screen. I found myself feeling a range of emotions as the characters were experiencing them also. The entire story is covered in a melancholy, like there's this funk that just kind of sits over everything that is threatening to push us into a depression. It's not absolute bleakness though. There are bright spots with humor, and that gives us some reprieve. But the overall tone of the film is dramatic and down. I really like the relationship aspect of the story. It feels like we are really watching a true friendship develop. And it does transform into a sort of love relationship. And that comes with all of the pitfalls and emotional just ups and downs that any type of relationship that transitions from friendship into something more will experience. Each brings some emotional baggage, and that's what also helps to make it feel like a true friendship. I mean, it's all the crap that goes along with emotionally investing in another person. Henry has parents who have been together since they were in high school, and they always get along, so Henry's example of what a relationship looks like is uncomplicated. But Grace doesn't have that same example, and she actually carries a lot of trauma with her. So it confuses and frustrates Henry when his relationship just goals or experiences don't go according to plan because he feels like he can't even talk to his parents and that they can't or won't understand what he's going through. I really like the imagery and the symbolism that the film uses to really express what the heart, the mind, the body goes through when we experience an emotional loss. I like that they show us visual representations of that, but they also use the words to back it up. And so those two together really help to build just a good picture and you can feel what some of the characters are describing, and it makes it very real. And then it's also relatable to us because at some point, I'm almost certain that every single person has gone through some kind of emotional trauma, some heartbreak that wrecks you to your core and you feel just awful like the world is ending. And there's a chemical response in your body that coincides with that. They do a really good job of explaining that. And I also like how they use the description of scars and what that means and what those represent. Despite everything that I liked in this, I still feel like there is something missing, like some spark that is just not present that would push me over the edge that makes me want to watch this again and again and again. Is the story missing some deep emotional connection? Does it feel too real? Or maybe it doesn't feel real enough. I've been really trying to pinpoint what exactly it is that makes me just kind of ambivalent to the whole thing. Maybe it's just that the journey feels like something that we've been on before. I mean, we have likable characters and the story is enjoyable, but none of it feels really fresh. Now, maybe this is gonna change over time. I mean, when I first saw The Fault in Our Stars, I couldn't imagine ever re-watching that. But then it had some time to breathe. I revisited it and now I absolutely love that movie and I watch it again and again. So maybe Chemical Hearts just needs an additional viewing. Maybe I need to give it a break and then come back and watch it again and see how it affects me. See if I connect more with the characters or more with the story and maybe it will lock itself into my head more or into my heart really and make that connection that really does turn into something that I love. And I'll continue to say that the acting is really good and the chemistry between the two leads 
is believable and fun. And even while the story doesn't really feel fresh to me, I think it can have some sort of emotional connection. It's 93 minutes long and it moves along really well. There are a couple of times where they give us image and action montages with musical background. And what that allows the film to do is really t show time passage without it feeling long or dragging on. I mean, the music is good, so it's enjoyable as we're watching things happen. And we get the sense that time is passing and we're good to go. I also like that they don't use that device too much. And so that's what really makes it work as well because it's just done once or maybe twice at the most. And so it doesn't feel lazy at this point. Like we're just trying to fast forward to get to the next part in the story. I'm curious what a second viewing of this will produce in me and if it will become something that's that's much more memorable or if I will continue to agree with myself and say like, you know what, no, it just didn't feel fresh. It just didn't make that deep emotional connection in such a way that I really want to watch this again and again. Only time is gonna tell. There is sex and no nudity, a lot of profanity and no violence. I give Chemical Hearts three out of five couches. What's your favorite teen romance movie? I'd love to know in the comments below. If you don't have one, maybe once you see Chemical Hearts, let me know how it affected you. If you felt that it was a great film, or if you thought that, eh, no, it was just okay, or it was absolutely terrible. I mean, all your thoughts are valid, so I would just love to know your opinion as well. So whatever you want to put in the comments, do that. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for catching with me.